G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, hopefully what I'm doing right now is a test recording, this may end up on Beanie Draws, it may not, um, basically I'm just testing out the audio, because I'm using my old webcam as an audio source device, the next video will be using my headphones as an audio uh, recording device, and then I'm going to eventually save up for a proper microphone, but as we can probably hear, possibly, uh, this Surface Pro 4 is fairly loud with its fan. So, um, yeah, basically I figured what I'm going to do is to test out some recording. I did do another test earlier, uh, a little while ago, but, um, yeah, it didn't work. So I'm going to try it again, and I'm using Microsoft MS Paint. Just to prove that you can indeed draw with MS Paint. Granted, you kind of need a tablet. It's a lot more difficult without a tablet, but um, yeah, it's actually surprisingly good to draw with a tablet. So um, what am I gonna draw? It's gonna be a dinosaur, obviously, or is it gonna be a dragon? Hmm, dinosaur or dragon? Maybe one video can be. One video can be a dragon, and one video can be a dinosaur. I'm going to teach you how to draw a dragon. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got the pencil tool selected. Um, naturally, you're probably going to, well, you're going to need, if you're going to do this digitally, you're going to need yourself a Surface Pro or a, a some sort of tablet device that has Microsoft paint. I suppose you could use any software really because all you need is a pencil. I'm treating this as if it's like you know a digital version of what I normally do. A pencil, an eraser, and your page. Uh, and you also really probably don't need a computer to do this. You can follow along um, with just pencil and paper because you know what I'm going to try and do is limit it down to just the pencil tool, the eraser tool, and maybe some of these shapes because Shapes plus color equals large scale erasing, apparently. I think what I'm going to do is something I don't usually do. Is I'm going to do a shapes. And this is going to be very rough because I'm still getting the hang of drawing with, um, with MS Paint. It's not the easiest. It's okay. I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to thinking about the proportions and that's also building up the fan oh well I think we'll do a body put the body in there um, and you'll probably notice that occasionally I'm gonna have like little bits of things pop up because uh, your knuckles on the Surface Pro 4 tend to leave marks occasionally so Palm rejection is good, but it's not perfect. Okay, we've got the body. Um, um, this will be kind of difficult to start off with because um, I'm using the eraser, and the eraser on MS Paint isn't the best. But just a little, we'll uh, cope with that. You can probably hear the birds and all that. I'm outside testing the Surface Pro 4. There's a person outside. So they're probably going to be wondering why I'm talking to myself. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a tail. My drawing style, you'll probably notice if you're a regular viewer of my channel, is my drawing style is very much the same as it would be with pencil. I use multiple lines to build up my bigger line. So I've got a tail. I'm going to put in a neck, I think, around here. Ooh. My screen's also, also staying fairly warm. So that's also going to drain through my battery, I think. Got 54 minutes. Okay, got 54 minutes to get this video done. Right, okay. Uh, right, so we're drawing in the neck. And I don't like that neck. So what I'm going to do is use my shape tool color it in white because you can't use you can't uh, use different brush sizes for the eraser there 
wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, what? Ah, oh, right, okay. Fill. It's set to no fill. We want to set it to solid color. Right, so there we go. I'm just going to use that to just erase my other bits. And we'll just do the erasing. Erasing isn't very intuitive on a Surface Pro so far. Well, not with MS Paint anyway. What we're going to do is put in... Ah! <laughs> select black again. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of an oval. That's going to work as one of its legs. Probably put in a knee around there. Uh, shoulder circle here. Sorry if I'm doing this fast. Um, I'm trying to get this done before my battery dies. One of the downsides of having a Surface Pro 4 is the battery doesn't necessarily last a hugely long. Uh, I'm going to put in a leg up there. Uh, what did I just do? There it is. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm going to put in another leg here, I think. It's going to have this played out. Um, I'm going to draw a little leg there just to kind of... It won't be seen, but it's just to kind of give us an idea of, like, the leg positioning. Um, put in another leg here. Uh, the lower leg. That's going to be foreshortened. And then... I'm just going to give it a bit of a, this is my layout stage, um, an elbow here, a sort of an oval thing around here, um, I just, I'm deciding whether I'm going to, um, I'm trying to decide on the, the, um, pose of its and so I'm, what, I'd, what I've done here is that's kind of meant to be your rip, like the, okay, that's the above your hand, sort of. Then I'm going to put in a claw here, um, a finger here, I guess, a finger here, just rectangles, nothing too serious, and a finger there. Um, just to sign if I even like that. Mm, I don't think I like that, so I'm going to erase it. You just erase that, because MS Paint has a lovely way of painting, um, erasing. So, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to draw in the bits and then I'll explain them later, I think. have to figure out some way to maybe the so recording software I'm using because I'm using OBS recording software I'm gonna try and use my finger there we go that's how you, that's how you resize images in a uh, MS paint oh at least now if I accidentally press down here it won't go completely off the screen that is a very loud fan it's because I'm using a um i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it's probably going to generate a fair bit of heat. Um, so who knows, maybe down the track I'll have to just, you know, go the old school method and just use this laptop as a way of recording my traditional drawings. Who knows? We'll figure it out along the way. Um, for now, I'm just drawing in the pose of my dragon. So I'm just drawing in some shapes to get the hand going. I'm, I'm having the hand kind of in, facing inwards. Give it three fingers and, well, four fingers and three main digits. And then um, I'm going to erase as much as I can this part. lovely erasing technique isn't it okay raise that um i think i'm gonna have him sprawled out a bit more so maybe like there uh 
knee. Calf. Just using random shapes. I think of, have you seen those um wooden posing dudes in the art stores that people use to you know practice posing? Think of this as like we're building up one of those right now. Just using very basic shapes to get the pose. And as you can kind of tell, he's slightly front on, slightly to the side, so I don't know what technical term that is, but it's slightly three-dimensional. So I'm just going to draw in the neck. The neck will probably be about here. That's the, the, uh, uh, the starting point of the neck. Full routes, warm as hell on this uh, thing. Do I have something open? Yeah, that's, oh, that's why I was in the middle of making an email. Um, just gonna have to try, how much battery got now? We have 46 minutes remaining, okay. Gonna have to snout around there. So I'm making a bit of a cone. Just to get the basic shape going. Um, draw an eye around that area, I think. And um, it's going to have little spikes around its head. So I'm going to give it little spikes there. Maybe bigger spike there. It's kind of like how to, how to train your dragon, I guess. Kind of that kind of style I'm going for. Actually, I'm going to raise that. I really hope this is actually recording my voice. Because it would suck if it wasn't. Hopefully this is recording, oh, I think it's also because I'm recording at 60 frames per second. Actually, I don't think I want him facing this way. I think I'm going to erase the whole thing for now, just break quickly. Um, at least it's a lot quicker to erase things. He's going to be looking out that way, so there's going to be the shape of his head, the snout, going to about, uh, I'd say about there. So the reason why I did multiple little spirals there is because I wasn't sure if I wanted the eye there, there, or there. But I think I like it there. So I'm going to now erase those bits, because I like the proportion of that eye. Going to flatten out his head a bit now. And with this bit of edge, I'm going to pull out a horn. Because I like dragons with horns coming out the back of their heads. I'm also, uh, um, if you've seen the movie Dragonheart, that's kind of the style of dragon I'm going for. That style. So usually what I do when I draw dragons is I draw like a big spike, a little spike or horn, then they progressively get smaller and smaller to about the start of the mouth, and that's when, kind of think of it like a triceratops horn, um, frill actually, I kind of do it that style, and the snout out there, rather than in, give it a bit of a lip, the top of its mouth will sort of, I'm trying to imagine it like a velociraptor mouth, or even a dog, like that, so you got, it goes down, up, to about there, um, I'm going to give this, the nostril some prominence there. I'll give it a line curled around. So it's a bit of like a, a horse snout, I guess. Then bring that snout line up here. And the re um, see, you can probably tell now that I like the shape of my lines. So I am now making them darker and more solid just by having multiple, multiple lines. Um, can I zoom in here? This is when things are going to get very pixelated, because uh, that's how Microsoft Paint works. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of... Um, hmm. Do I make him angry, or do I make him... Eh, let's just make him casual. So I'm going to give him an eyelid. Um, probably can erase that just to... The other, hard, the other bad thing about... Um, MS Paint is you can't gently erase, you just basically have to erase the whole thing. So, it's still got a basic idea with the, the positioning, so... Okay, gonna give it a, a 
top eyelid. Just making sure we're alright for the time. Yep, 40 minutes, good. Still doing good. Um, give him slight, I'm giving the slight edge around that part of the eye, just to... So he's not completely um, happy, but not completely angry. Just kind of doing his thing. I, I kind of want to give him a big eye, just because it's, you know... It's meant to be slightly cute. You can probably tell by the proportions that the head's huge. Actually, you know what? Mm, yeah, let's make the eye bigger. Because of the proportions, we're gonna it, the big head, little body. It's cute, so we're gonna give it a cute style. I'm gonna give it a cute, angry vibe. So give it a bit of a frown for the eyebrow. A um a curved line. Think of it like a uh, Nike tick. If you aren't that uh, attuned to the line work, you should be using. Gonna um curl it up there so that's the eye eyebrow then I'm gonna give it a bottom part of the eye like so and might give him a little bit of an eyelid like that and then a snake slitty kind of pupil There we go. Oh, and I also left a little, as you can probably see there, left a bit of white. Going to add in some little ziggly, ziggly, zaggly lines for a bit of um, veins, just to give a little bit of, you know, a little bit of detail, so it's not just a white area. Okay. I'm thinking I'm making a slight... I'm giving him a slight grin. Which means I'm also going to erase this horn. A slight grin. So he's a little bit of a badass. You know, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dragon, this guy. He's not Spyro, but he kinda get he's kinda got that um Spyro sort of vibe to him a little bit. I think this this guy is kinda cooler than Spyro to be honest. Um I'm just putting in some little lines here just to kind of give the indentation of the the um the horns being in the skull so I'm also going to put in a line in here I'll put a little line in there just to kind of give it the indication of bumps in the skull um, I'm gonna have his mouth slightly open I think so I'm just gonna give him a bit of an open mouth like so Chin's going to be in a bit, and the chin and general jaw is going to be probably half the size of the um, the top part. Seems you can't see where my, I'm pointing, I'm just going to have to describe, I'm guessing. <laughs> and um, bring it out to, so it's a bit wider around here in the jaw section. Curl it up, curve it up, and curl it up so it uh, has a nice rounded edge. And then we can erase these bits of messy lines, just to give it a bit of a tidy up. So I think that's looking pretty good. I'm getting the hang of this whole drawing with the Surface Pro. I kind of wish that first video had worked well, because like, I was so surprised how you could actually draw with the, Surface Pro, um, with the MS Paint. That um that surprise is kind of gone now, so now I'm just you know now you're dealing with me kind of knowing what I can and can't do with the surf uh, with the MS Paint. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how to draw using Photoshop as well. So I'm, there's going to be a few things coming along. I uh, didn't like that. That was a little bit difficult to try and keep the lines sort of straight and curved, but uh. Because we're working with pixels, it can get a bit complicated. And also, the longer I video eyes, the long bigger this file size is going to be. So, using the shape of my neck, I'm going to add in some wrinkles. Some, as you can see here, I'm adding in some um, curved lines, so sort of semicircle, just curved lines, just to give a bit of a a wrinkle sort of. Um, shape so it's folding in and I'm just going to 
bring the neck out a little bit and connect it to the body might have a little bit of a line here just to connect it to the body so it looks like it's in between the the uh the shoulders i'm gonna give him some teeth because i'm just looking that just then that he needs some teeth so i'm just gonna give him some real tiny teeth nothing major he's little he's a little baby dragon it's just little tiny teeth I do have another dragon picture that I'm going to have to draw at some point. Now I'm going to use this body, just refine it a little bit, and then I'm just going to uh, refine the legs. Because with the shape of these legs and arms, they're more or less going to stay the same. Well, I'm going to draw in some shoulder. But generally I keep my arms and that more or less the same shape as the, um, the founding uh, circles and ovals, I guess. So there's a leg refined. Leg refined. Shoulder. Oh, this is getting very warm on my, um, it's getting very warm on my lap, even. This is heating up quite a little bit. Likely not during this during summer. This would be a pain in the butt to do during summer right now. As you can see, I'm just refining and bringing out some of the shapes in at the shoulder. I can probably erase those shoulder ball joints now. I'm going to erase that line because we don't need the background line now. And I'm also going to erase these lines don't need those lines as such just tidying it up a bit now we've got our we've got we've got our um more solidified lines now so we can erase those okay uh gotta fix up the thing there um this is kind of looking like that other dragon drawing that i i did i tend to draw dragons when i'm testing out things i guess and when i'm getting back into my zone i'm just gonna raise that ball joint um, I'm not going to raise this line, I'm going to raise these little lines, just to kind of, I'm going to get rid of that line, just so it looks like it's, you know, not connected so harshly to the body. Uh, tidy up that leg, going to erase most of that knee bit, uh, erase those lines, erase those lines, erase those lines, erase those lines, those lines, and those lines. Um, I think he's actually just going to tie up a little bit because I think his nose needs to be a little bit darker for contrast reasons. It's coming along all right. Um, I'm going to add in some a chest shape, a little chest line. Gonna, this is going to be the sort of the chest and stomach. Going to. Um, Probably should actually draw in the in the, in the uh, wing. So I'm just going to add in some arms for the wings. There's a little some ba basic, slightly curved lines for the wings. Gonna bring that shape out to about there. So you know, use your slightly bent lines. Ah, what did I, oh, that's right, I accidentally pressed the button which erases your line. Uh, I, as a, a button on my, um, my, um, pen tablet thing. And that's a messy line, so I'm just going to tidy it up now. Come on, there we go. Going to tidy up that line a bit so it doesn't look quite so messy. And I erased too much. Uh, so I'm just going to fix that line up a bit. I always find the slightly curved horizontal lines to be fairly difficult to draw. And I'm going to have the line go to about there. Because this wing is facing us a bit. So um, anything that's in the distance around here is going to be shorter. 
if it was okay if it, if it was like okay if it was facing us completely it'd be like that that'd be the wing and if it was facing um profile form it'd be like spread out more evenly but because it's at a slight angle it's going to be kind of like the length will be the same but these middle bits will be um shorter so it's in between that and that like that hopefully that makes sense so that's how you, basically if you want something to look like it's sort of angular you just make it a little bit thinner than what it would be at its full length if that makes any sense so i'm just gonna join the webbing of the wings um i'm gonna so the good thing about pencil or anything that's non-permanent completely permanent is you can um adjust the line a bit see how i didn't quite like that line so i brought i just drew another line and then I will erase that line that I didn't like, like so. Go back to my pencil tool, and I'm just going to connect that part to there. Actually, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a bit of a little um, uh, an end bump. <laughs> If that makes sense. I'm gonna add a little bit of a line here so it looks like it's a kind of a fingery um, rod sort of shape. So just a line for the rod ends and I might do that as well for up here just so they look like the kind of fingers. You don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want to. Just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just depends on what you're drawing really. And the reason why I, I, I didn't put the line down to here, I put it back here because that's along the back. So now I'm going to erase that bit. going to erase that line. How much time we've got left? Okay, got 33 minutes. Not bad. Okay, let's try and get this done quickly. Uh, keep that line. Um, I'm going to erase this bit just a little bit. So up to about there. Um, I'm going to make the connecting line just light. There you go, just two lines. Basic lightness is all you need. Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because what we want to do is I'm going to have like a line here that balances out with this part. And I'm trying to imagine that in there the neck is hiding this part of the arm but um like you can kind of see with my mouse pointer that um that's where the line would go as you can see with the symmetry of here with here and then you just kind of imagine where like it, it start there it go to about there so you just draw that part of the line and hopefully that will look nice and balanced Wings and symmetry can be a bit of a challenge, and to be honest, with this part of the wing, it's not going to be as long as that one. It's going to be slightly shorter because the whole body is at an angle, and that can be a bit of a challenge. Let's see if I can qu quickly um, explain why. Okay, so, okay, this is the camera. If the dragon was, okay dragon wings if it was facing us perfectly we'd see both of the wings at the exact angle however um, the dragon is at an angle so the wing would be more like that so we'd see more of that wing towards us Like so, that wing would be facing further away from us. So, hopefully, you can kind of see that because that wing's closer, it's further out and longer. This part of the wing is further away from us, therefore, we only see about half of it, if that makes sense. Hopefully, it does. Hopefully, you've learned something from there. 
this part of the wing would be shorter and more narrow like I, I the reason why I, I I'm just, just going to draw it very lightly in there because this kind of explains to me visually what um, how it kind of looks when it's in behind an object I apologize if I'm going way too fast right now I'm trying to figure out how to explain it I'll draw more dragons down the track and I'll get better at um at explaining these things but um I'm also trying to get this done in as short amount of time as possible but see how like see how there I've made those lines darker and I ha haven't gone any further with those lines so what I'm gonna do is erase those guiding lines now because I don't need them obviously gonna fix up this tail a bit just to refine it more gonna add in some more lines just to make it darker and thicker it's very nice Gained is done. I think I'm gonna put in. Actually, let's put in a little bit of a flame. I'll give it a bit of a Charmander. So uh, we're just gonna give it some wobbly lines, some little free flowing, wiggly lines to kind of give it the whole organic flame vibe. That's what I should do. A video on how to draw fire. I'll try and remember to do that. A, a video. Drawing tutorial on how to draw fire. Because I love drawing fire. Okay, that will be a video in the future. How to draw fire. But for now... Kind of see that? It's just got little flow, free-flowing wiggly lines. Maybe put in a little bit of extra. Maybe if in the mood. I'm not going to colour in this dragon because my battery won't give me enough time to do that. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to get the lines thicker in MS Paint, but you can get there. You can get it done if you got like you, know, you wouldn't be able to do this with a with a um a just a mouse. You need the you need the precision of a pen. I'm just gonna tidy up these lines, make the claws more claw-ish. That's, these claws are getting closer and closer to being, you know, pointing towards us, so we make them thinner. As I mentioned, wider for, you know, when they're, when they're facing out. And narrow and thin when they're facing us. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna see if I can make my, uh, make my line a little bit thicker, just so I can, there we go. Just gonna make my lines a little bit thicker. There's a finger. Gonna add in the, the end of the finger there, like so. Actually, it's not it's not um, bound, it's not looking like the rest of it. So I'm just gonna uh, try and make it look a little bit messier, just so it looks like it's these kind of lines. Fingers. I give them a little bit of a, a lump at the at the top at the um end of their fingers. So I uh, see if I can. I'm just going to quickly draw in these claws, because you've seen how I draw the claws, so just follow along. Okay, what I do, the, I have a, a round knobbly bit, that it gets bigger, and like it's a curved knobbly bit at the, at the um, tip of the finger where the claw would come out, and then I curve it in. And then I give it a few little a few little lines just to give it that sort of that little okay claw knobbly bit and then just little little lumps to give it that finger vibe. Oh, screen's gone dark, which means we are running low on battery. We've got twenty minutes left at twenty one percent. Can we get this done? Let's let's smash out this beast. All right. Quickly drawing these fingers in. Because I don't know how much more I can record. Okay, I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. So I apologise. If you can't keep up. I'm just fix. I'm just tuning in these bits of um, lines. Just for the fingers. Just to complete them. 
I'm going to try and give him a bit of a shadow just to finalize the image at the end. I'm just going to erase these lines, these founding lines, don't need them anymore. Try and tidy it up a little bit. Try erase the lines in the middle of the claws. Get this hand done for the sake of completion of the artwork. I'm so glad that my screen isn't cracking because I've been putting a little bit of pressure, not a huge amount of pressure, but it's enough pressure to, you know, put some force on there. I think these Surface Pro 4s come with Gorilla Glass, so, like, it's not scratching. This is, this is a good scratch test, actually. It's not scratching at all. There's like, it feels kind of waxy, actually, a little bit, if, you, if I could imagine it. It's like slight waxiness to the um, screen. So, I'm just fixing up that hand. Um, the back, oh, actually, got to finish off that claw for the sake of finalities. And then, I'm not going to worry too much about this leg. It's just kind of in the background doing its thing, so I'm just gonna go in there, give it a bit of a an ankle or a heel. Just uh, we're gonna put in some claws coming out from here, cause just to get the balance right, get those claws going. Really hope this audio works, cause I will be disappointed majorly if this video doesn't come out all right. Just put in some wrinkles for when it, the hand is folding in on itself. So some wrinkle lines. Okay. And to finish off this bad boy, bad girl, whatever gender this... Or, you know, if it's gender neutral, if it's a gender fluid dragon, maybe the dragon doesn't have a gender. Maybe it's an asexual a dragon that um, reproduces with itself. I mean, isn't that how fish sometimes do it? I think um, cr some creatures are unique in that regard, where they, you know, they reproduce in different ways to other creatures. So this dragon could very well be one of it. There could be a who knows? Who knows what this dragon could be? Could be boy, could be girl, could be anything in between. But. Hiding up my lines, getting them looking. I mean, it's not going to be perfect because this is this is MS Paint. MS Paint. I don't know. I, I think MS Paint is just designed to have fun. It's not really designed to for professional drawing. So this image isn't going to be looking fully sick. Just, just it's just going to look good. Not fully sick though. Okay. So, um. Just gonna get try and get these lines to be a little bit thicker, just so they uh, joined in with these lines a, a little bit. Uh, I can make these the width a bit thicker around here. Make these lines a bit darker, and I'm gonna give them a little bit of a shadow if I can. So I'm drawing in the shape of my shadow. It's very rough, very loose, and actually, I think because of the joys of because this is digital painting, digital drawing, just making sure my gaps are closed in this, I should be able to fill paint. So, uh, paint bucket fill. Woo! It works! Yes! Awesome. Cool. That's one of the good sides of um, digital painting, digital drawing, is you can <laughs> get some things done quicker. So I'm just going to get my lines a little bit nicer. Just get the contrast working a bit so you can see these claws. But I think that's more or less done. So naturally now you should um, be saving your image. Save it wherever you want. If you have indeed been doing this digitally. If you've been drawing this uh, traditionally, congratulations, you finished. <laughs> um, and now I'm just gonna, I'm I'm just gonna tidy it up just slightly more now. 
Uh, I'm just going to erase this because we don't need that anymore. Erase that. Just a little bit tight. I mean, it's not perfect. This is by no means a finished illustration. But it's, um, I just wanted to test out the recording of this. Um, test out the audio recording. Test out, see what it's like to draw, um, with Surface Pro 4. See how, how it goes with the tutorial aspect. May combine this in with the video that I'm doing at the moment. If it works out well. Maybe a little bit too long. We'll see how we go. Just tidying up a little bit, bits and pieces. But I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and learn more about the Surface Pro and its power savings. So I can you know get a bit more battery out of this. So I can do more stuff with it. How much battery we've got left? Oh, oh, we've got 13% battery. Oh, there we go. Okay. Gonna have to leave it there. So, um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. And hopefully you learned something. And I will catch you next time. Cheerio for now.